How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Beeper BY244 with a Windows computer. Those who have this printer you are going to love me for this video because installation instructions on this printer are pretty much non-existent and when you open it up you get some pictures with some Chinese. This is pretty much all you got. We're gonna do a initial setup and calibration then we're gonna do a USB installation and then we are going to you do a network on Windows. First things first, when you get your printer, you're going to want to open it up. I actually have this almost empty roll that I'm going to load in here. And you're just going to put the spool through the core and drop the labels in there. The adhesive side is down, the like face of the label is up because the print head's on the top. So that's gonna make contact with this paper in order to make the image and then you're going to squeeze these little guides together put it about to the front and then you're going to close your machine take your power supply plug it into the wall plug it into the back of your printer and then your printer does have a power button over here make sure you flip that into the dashed line position in order to turn it on these printers do not come calibrated so you will want to hold down the front button and it will calibrate the printer for you. It's using its sensors in there to recognize the labels start and where the labels finish, and then it's going to remember it. Once it's done calibrating, you can press the feed button, and it should feed exactly one label. Looks good. I'm gonna roll these back in so we don't have to waste them. Start back from square one. It will feed one label, as like a self calibrate every time you open and close the top, that's just the way that it is. If you wanna change label sizes for whatever reason, you will have to calibrate again so the printer knows what labels are installed. Next thing you're going to need to do is take your USB, plug it into the back of the printer, and then do not plug this into your computer yet. It's very important when you plug it in so Windows does not recognize it and install what it thinks it needs to install. I'll tell you when to plug it in later on in the video. We're gonna go on to the computer now. Here we are on the computer. You're going to open your favorite browser. I like to use Google Chrome and I'm going to find the driver by typing BY244 driver into Google. And right here from Siegel Scientific, this is a very reputable website that creates drivers. I'm going to download this driver right here. The instructions for the computer on how to use the printer. For convenience, I will put a link to the driver in the description so you don't have to navigate and maybe find the wrong driver on accident. Once the software downloads, you can double click it down here or navigate to your downloads folder and double click that application that we just downloaded. It's going to run our printer driver software. You're going to hit accept, next, next. And this little shield driver thing that's blinking down here. And when you click that, it's going to say, do you wanna allow this app to make changes to your device? It doesn't record this on the screen and I don't really know why, but I'm gonna hit yes. And we're going to hit install printer drivers, hit next. And this is when you're going to plug your USB from your printer into your computer. I said earlier not to plug it in until a certain time of the video and that time is right now. Computer should make a little beep noise, meaning that it recognized the USB and this should pop up BY244 on a USB port. And if it doesn't, just turn your printer on and off with that power switch and hopefully it will pop up through the Seagull driver wizard. We're going to hit next. You can change the name to your printer if you have more than one printer. You can name it something else if you want. I'm just going to leave it deeper. This is uh, something else because I have a bunch of other printers installed on this computer. I'm just going to unclick that. Next, I'm going to hit finish. Right, then you're going to hit close and your printer should be installed. You can go down to this finder, type in printers and scanners. You should have Beeper BY244 there. You can click on it and manage. If you hit print a test page, it should send a 1.1 page of a test page to your printer. 
just letting you know that it is working and communicating. But we're going to go in here and change some settings because it's not on the best settings right now. You're going to go to printing preferences and where it says graphics, you're going to change it to dithering none and you're going to hit apply and where it says page setup for some reason they have it default at 3.93 by 7.04. We're going to change that to four by six inches and then we're going to hit apply again. Or if you're using a different dimension, that's where you're going to change it. If you have a dimension that's not on here, you would hit edit and create your own dimensions based off of those settings there. You're probably not going to need that. If you go to options, this is where you are going to be able to change your printer darkness and print speed. It's currently set at four inches per second at a darkness of eight. You can uncheck that and change it if you want. If for some reason your printer is printing a little bit lighter, you can turn it up to nine or 10. But if it's good where it's at, leave it at eight and four because you don't want to burn your print head out early by making it really dark and printing fast. So I'm just gonna hit if you don't have a sample label, I will put a link to one in the description so you can download it and test your printer to make sure that it's working correctly. I just hit control P, but I could also go to the print icon right here or file print, depending on whatever browser you have open, but I press control P. I'm gonna pick my printer, BY244. I'm gonna make sure your paper size is four by six, and then you're gonna hit print. Our sample label printed beautifully. That's pretty much how you set it up via USB. Now we're going to network it, which is a lot more complicated than just USB install. But if you are feeling tech savvy, so you can use it with multiple Windows computers, this is the part of the video you need to pay attention to. First things first is you're going to have to get an Ethernet cable and you're going to have to plug it into the back of your printer. And you're going to have to plug, you're going to have to plug in the other end to one of the open Ethernet ports on your router. The printer will have to be somewhat proximity to your router, limited by how long your Ethernet cable is. Is another software we're gonna have to download. It's on Beepert's website. I will put a link directly to the software in the description. It's the under downloads SDK, and it's the BY244 printer user tools and you have to download this zip. Once it's done downloading, you hit open file, double click on that folder. You're gonna go to BY244 user tool, double click on that. You're gonna hit extract all and then you're gonna hit extract and then you're going to open up that again and then BY244 user tool. This is protection, Windows protection is gonna pop up. You hit with more info, run anyways, and it should it should open this Beeper BY244 user tool. And this is where we want to go in order to do our network settings. In order to do that, we go over here to network setting. IP, gateway, and mask. This is very, very important. Gateway, you're going to change it to whatever your router is. It's going to be router independent. In order to find your network gateway, you can go down here to your finder, type in network, and it's gonna pop up with control panel. Technically, you could have just typed in control panel. Then you're gonna go to network and internet, view network statuses and tasks, find your active wireless network that is connected to the router that your printer is plugged into and you're going to click on that wi-fi connection once you click here you're going to click on details this ipv4 default gateway 192.168.1.1 is my default gateway yours may be the same it may be different but that is that number that you're going to put here into gateway now, when you make IP, you're going to make it the same, except for changing the last numbers here. You can change it to whatever you want. I recommend changing it to just something like 111 or something that you can remember easily because you're going to need it later on in the tutorial. So I matched this to my gateway and I changed these last numbers to 111. So I'm going to hit set and then I'm going to hit connection test. 
and connection is successful. It's saying that the gateway is correct, the IP is okay, the connection should be fine. You are going to have to remember this IP 192.168.1.111 or you can set this really to whatever you want it to be. I'm just doing 1.111 to remember. And then I'm going to X out of that. And then you can just double check to make sure that the network settings were saved. That's fine. I'm going back to printers and scanners that we found down here in the search. I'm going to go to Beepert. We're going to go to Manage. I'm going to go to Printer Properties. And now I'm going to go over to Ports. Here, it's saying I'm using a USB port. I'm going to go to Add Port. It's going to be a standard TCIP port. We're going to go New Port. Next, enter port name or IP address. Remember that IP address that we made, 192.168. 8.1.111. That is letting the computer know where the printer is on my network. And I can call this port 192.168.1.111. That's fine. Hit next. And now it's going to run this detection of the port. Okay, so it's not going, it's going to take a couple minutes. And it says the device is not found on the network. That's all right. We're gonna hit next and we're going to hit finish. Then we're gonna hit close. We're gonna hit apply. And then I'm going to unplug the USB, the printer from the computer. I'm gonna open up another sample label. Com uh, control P, BY244 without any cables on, well, this is my microphone for the computer, no cables on the computer. I can unplug the USB on the printer. It's just the ethernet into the router. I'm gonna hit print and it should send it through the router to the printer and print a beautiful label. That is how you install it on your network. Then you can do that on multiple Windows computers in your house or in your workflow, however that's working. And that's one of the benefits of this printer is this networking ability. For a cheaper price than the Rolo, to me, I think it's a way better value. Personally, like the all-in-one design, um, the ability to do fan fold, it contained labels, and the ability to network it on Windows. USB Mac, USB Windows, or you can network it on Windows. Hopefully this video will help. I know the networking might be a little bit past your capabilities, but hopefully you can get it done. If you have the right numbers, you should be able to get it done. If you it's for some reason not working, most likely it is a setting issue or something within your network. Um, it's probably not the printer, but I do hope that this helps. If, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already a member, consider subscribing to the channel and I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.